two. It is the RV reveal day. We're in it. <laughs> this is the couch. Um, so as you can tell by the description or the name of the video or the title, whatever you want to call it, um, we upgraded from our um, Jayco travel trailer that was it was 35 feet long, but it was only about 28 feet of inside living space. To now, we have a 2024 Brinkley Model Z 3100. This is a fifth wheel camper that is 35 feet long, and it's all 35 foot of living space. Um, so we are sitting in the living room. Um, <laughs> We're on the couch that folds out into a queen size bed. Yes. Um, we have two leather recliners that have um, heat and um, a phone charger and storage, and they recline all the way back. Yeah, we'll show you all of the um, features. So, when we bought the first camper, the Jayco, it was the first camper we'd ever owned, either one of us. Yes. And all my friends at camp said, you know, this is your trial camper. Um, once you buy this one and camp in it for a while, then you'll figure out exactly what you want in your... And we said, uh-uh. Yeah. <laughs> this is our camper. Yeah. We're keeping it. And so... <laughs> they were right. We loved that camper yeah. for weekend trips. Mm -hmm. um, we took it to Gulf Shores for about a seven, eight-day vacation and quickly realized... <laughs> It's just too small, too cramped. Um, even for just two people, there was just not enough storage, closet space, cabinet space, drawer space, not enough storage underneath it to bring, you know, chairs for the beach, you know, just different things. Um, and we want a camper that we can take to the beach or to a national park. Um, for extended periods Places of where we can go weekends. for two, even three weeks at a time. Yeah. Um, and so, and we, we talked about this too when we took um, Clay and Sierra and our grandbaby to Holiday World for the Halloween trip. You yeah. know, this is, that was the first time yeah. we had anybody with us. Yeah, and that was just a three-day weekend. And it was fine, except for the fact that the bathroom was like at one end. So you, you were waking people up. Sorry, but I'm almost 50 and I have to pee more than I used to. Yes. And <laughs> lots of times in the middle of the night and I didn't want to disturb the people that were with you. And so the layout just felt just wrong for yeah, it, how we were for, utilizing it. Yeah, for it to have been a family-style camper, because it had bunk beds, oh, yeah. um, and then it had the couch that folded out, then it had the dinette. dinette you know, so out. it would sleep eight people, but the problem is, if anybody had to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, you're waking everyone up because where the bathroom was situated. Yeah. So this one, the bathroom is kind of in the middle mm -hmm. between this bed yeah, and the bedroom. The bedroom. And then we also and have enough that buffer of the kitchen too. Yeah, and then we also have enough space that when this is fully out, it's a queen size bed. But then there's also another sp enough space we could put two twin size air mattresses on the floor as well. Um, so we can still sleep, you know, six, seven people, but it's just much more room yeah. and much more convenient. Um, you know, this one has a fireplace. Um, it's electric, which is nice because, you know, when you go camping, if it gets a little bit cool, you don't really want to use your propane because you're paying for the propane for the furnace, whereas electricity is included in the campsite. So that fireplace is going to come in handy. You know, when it drops down in the 40s or 50s, I'm not going to use the furnace. I'll use the fireplace, you know. Right. Um, so the stove here is bigger. Yeah, we, had, this, we had issues with cooking in our other RV. Just... Yes. You know, just not enough prep space. I mean, we were we were prepping on top of half of the seat. Yes, we were, yeah, or <laughs> using the kitchen table, the dinette yes. table as our prep space, yeah. where this camper has an island, and it has cabinet space on each side of the oven, and it has what they even call a coffee bar, which has a, you know, a good size countertop on it. Now, we don't drink coffee, so we'll put the <laughs> air fryer or, you know, a toaster maker. oven, ice maker, something like that over there. Um, but this camper, it's made to live in, yeah. um, which is great. You know, it's got a pantry, like an actual pantry, not a cabinet, an actual pantry. And you'll see that here in a minute. So, um, well, I think the other thing for you, I don't pull it. I don't, I don't drive the truck and pull the camper. So I think for you, 
the fifth wheel seemed a lot yes, the, better than the travel trailer it functionality. It pulls so much easier. Especially when we were already planning our trip out west yes. to Yellowstone. And yeah, that's going to be a three-week trip with narrow roads. And mountains, we were both really nervous mountains, about it. Yeah. yeah. And I know people do. They don't, don't get us wrong. But I think maybe being newer to this type of travel, um, we didn't obviously need this extravagant, I guess. Um, but we want to be comfortable and we want long-term goal. We might be living in this full time, you know, that, that is a possibility. So we just didn't want to continually, My, uh, cause I think I told you this is it. I don't, I don't want to trade another one in. I want to, yes. whatever we get next, I want it to be home away from home. And so this is it. Yes. Yeah. But yes, it, the fifth wheel definitely tows a lot easier. Um, there's the wind has no effect on the even though this is a much bigger heavier camper the wind has no effect on it where that travel trailer that we had i don't know if it's because it was so much lighter or because you're pulling it from your bumper and not the back of your truck but the wind would pay havoc a tractor trailer would you know drive past me and just everything would shift so big difference um so yeah let's well, let's just go ahead and walk around. <laughs> she wants me to do the talking, so, so she's going to be the, so the cameraman. Is, this is where we were sitting. Yes. So this will come out, turn into a bed. Um, we've got lights on each side. I turned them off so that it looks better. Um, we've got end tables, and each one of these pull up, and there's storage for board games, remotes, whatever. And in the back, you push this down. And you've got an outlet, you've got um, USB and USB-C to charge your phone. And then all of this storage up here is just so much more. We've got these shades on the windows. You're looking into our garage, but... Please don't. Yeah. Because <laughs> everything from our old camper is everything now in our garage. In there. We got it loaded up in here. Yeah. So here are the real leather recliners where I will kick back and watch a little TV. We've got wireless phone charging right here, but it's also waterproof, so you can use it um, for your drinks. And they uh, have a phone charger built in them and two different settings for heat. Storage in there. And then straight across from these amazing recliners, here's the fireplace down here. This is just more storage. And then this. <laughs> this is what they call a televator. So this is a, I think it's a 45 or 46 inch TV that just comes up out of there. Now I'm not gonna bring it all the way up because it's slow. But what I like about it is when you're not watching TV, it gives you just even more prep space and counter space coming off of the stove. So it's got that that new all, creak sound. Yeah. So <laughs> all the way down, um, we got more storage up here. Um, right here, we got nice big solid surface kitchen island. Um, this is Debbie's favorite part. You want me to show me your favorite? Oh part? yeah, 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 yeah. This is her favorite part. Two trash cans, and then when you pull this out, a paper towel holder. And you leave your paper <laughs> towels on it, you put it in there when it's time to move, when it's time to travel. It's the little things, guys. Yeah. I just remember in our Jayco, there was very little room that we bought nice. a trash can to yeah. go underneath the sink, and we were constantly having to take trash out. We have a nice big stainless steel um, undermount sink with a spray head that moves all around fancy gold color um stove residential size microwave um this drawer here has a spice rack in it that's pretty cool for you to lay your spices and then we also have a residential size refrigerator so this little thing here locks it so on travel days your refrigerator doesn't open up and you lose all your food but and create a mess residential size refrigerator and freezer i mean look we haven't even taken stuff unwrapped it yet this is how <laughs> new this thing is so that's really really nice having that because 
And that um, piece, yeah, that piece that goes to lock the um, refrigerator, there's a magnet in this first yeah, cabinet. Yeah, magnet in that cabinet. So you don't have to, you know, lose it in your junk drawer. <laughs> but we, what we've read, you know, we're going to do three weeks out west, about a week of it in Yellowstone, is there's not a lot of places to eat in Yellowstone, so you're going to have to cook a lot yourself at the campsite. So having a bigger refrigerator is going to help, as well as having a pantry. Floor to ceiling, it's got a motion activated light, so as soon as you open the door, the light comes on, and that's going to hold plenty of food for us on our trip. And then as I was talking about before, this is the little coffee bar area, it's got a little light under it, um, right there. We don't drink coffee, but we'll put the air fryer there, or our ice maker, or whatever. Um, this is the little dinette area two leather chairs that um, they move, they come out. So this ottoman moves. So this pops off, it's just magnets. And then you can take the ottoman out and you can move it over in front of the couch. And now you have a footstool or a coffee table. Or if you're working, you pull that up and now you've got a workspace and then you've also got plenty of storage down in there for blankets. I think we're going to get a nice mattress pad to put on this fold-out sofa um, to make it more comfortable, and that's a perfect place to roll up and keep the mattress pad. Um, but when you are traveling, the ottoman just straps in over here. And then you... Uh, Take it with the magnets and pop that right back on. Nice overhead lights, got some lighting up above it to kind of give it a cool look. Um, we'll come on up and see the bathroom. Come on in, show them the bathroom, babe. You can lead them through this one. No, I can't. Got to concentrate on my videoing. So you got a shower Look head. Look at that shower Got a rainfall shower, a handheld. Look at that. And then two mid bodies. Why don't you it's a full size shower. Pop in there so they can see how tall it is. Yes, full size shower. So Look at that headroom. You got the handheld. <laughs> and then you got the waterfall. And then you got these two. It's like the human car wash. Just get me good and clean. And then over here we've got... A linen closet, plenty of storage for your towels, wash rags, toilet paper, all that. And then this here is an on-demand hot water heater. So you always have hot water. Never runs out. And we just got a couple of towel hooks here to hang your robe on or your bath towel. This is your toilet paper holder, but Brinkley thinks of everything. They made it out of metal and they put a magnet on the wall. So when it's travel day, you just stick it to the wall and you don't have to worry about it falling down. And that lovely and mirror. Here's a medicine cabinet mirror. Normal, just, you know, cabinets and drawers. Well, it might be normal, but not it's usually not normal, for an RV. <laughs> not normal in an RV, but... All right, then we'll head on into the master... Here we go. The master bedroom. Yeah, I'm making my own sound effects. All right. <laughs> This was one of the big selling points. Yep. King size bed. Um, I am a, <laughs> I don't know what kind of sleeper you, I take up a lot of room when I sleep. I've got legs out and arms out. And so we had a queen in the old camper and um, it wasn't good. So we've got king size bed. Um, up above the bed, we've got a shelf with um, some phone charging ports back there. So you've got a place to put your phone. We've got shelves on that wall over there. And then over here, we've got a full-size dresser with um, seven drawers. And then this top slides out. And we've got like some hidden storage under here for jewelry or whatnot. Wall-mounted TV. More little shelves for Debbie's plants or whatever. <laughs> And then this is more storage with motion light. Now, so this has a closet rod in it, so you can hang clothes, or you take this shelf out and it's already prepped for a washer and dryer. 
So you've already got your dryer vent, your water lines, and all that. So we can put a stackable washer and dryer in here. Um, but we will use it for clothing. As This will be my closet. <laughs> and then this here will be Debbie's closet. If you want to go in there and show them. Yeah, so, so ingenious. They put the light for the closet in the actual rod that you hang your stuff on. And I just thought every closet should have that. You've got and closet rod, you've got have shoes for shoes. Cordless uh, vacuum prep as well. Yes. So between this closet and this closet and those drawers and these shelves, we should have plenty of room for our clothing for long trips. But then we also have a huge amount of storage yeah, under so, here as well. Yeah, so let's talk about the difference, especially in this. This is a huge selling point for me as well because in the Jayco underneath the bed, yes, there was about this amount of storage, but it was the same storage as under through the, through yeah, the camper. Yeah, there was so no it wasn't floor. Separate. Yeah, there was right. no floor in here. It was open down to the bottom. Yeah. So if there was something in the below belly storage that you needed, you could get to it from here, but it wasn't separate storage. So I told her I think this is a great place for us to keep like our dirty clothes until until we can get to a laundromat or until we get back home and keep the dirty clothes out of the way. So it's just Little they things, thought of everything. Little things like that. that I do. Kinda, I do remember one thing you forgot to show them, though. What did I forget to show? Oh, okay. So this is really cool. Down at the bottom of the island, you pull this out, and it's your dog bowls to feed and water your dogs. <laughs> We're dog people. You know that. This yeah. is very cool. And then when you get done, oh, you got to pop them back up. You just close them. And it goes right back in there. You see how it's got lighting underneath the island. I mean, they thought of everything. And then over here, forgot about this too. Um, on the kitchen table, on the bottom here, you pull this out, and that's where your utensils go. How smart is that? Yeah. You know, where do you need your utensils? At the table where you're eating. Show them so um, the blinds too. They thought Different. of so much. Okay. So another thing that's really cool. These are blackout shades. Um, you know. If you're at a campground, there's you know there's street lights and things, people coming in and out, it can be bright. So they've got these that pull down and block it out. Or if you want a little bit of light, you push up and now it somewhat blocks them out. And you can see our trash cans. <laughs> or you can separate them completely. And now you've just got your regular windows that you you know you can open up from the bottom and now you can get a nice cool breeze coming in and have screens and not have to worry about bugs so it's little things like that if you look at a lot of the other campers and trailers out there their windows aren't framed out like this they have that huge balance mm -hmm. across that the top that was a huge and no it's no just, for it's me. ugly um, so these are nice and trimmed out and they just look more like a house does um, and there's just there's so many other things about this camper that is done so well. Like where the walls meet the ceiling. In every other camper, there's like crown molding to cover big gaps and seams. Mm. You don't have that in this one. They meet snug against each other and then there's just a seam of caulk. Um, as you can see here in these windows, you don't see nail holes or anything like that. That's because it's glued on and then nailed from the back. Um, they just they thought of everything to make it look as nice as possible to make it look like a home um, But you can also tell that there's true craftsmanship in it as well I mean, I did feel like and we loved our Jayco. We did but, but the there's more like a I don't know a heftier or a, just a meteor Yeah, it's component this, just to this RV everything. I mean, everything is just now, stronger. I won't lie. This was three times the price <laughs> as our Jayco right. So it better right. be three times as strong, right? But we looked at other companies' fifth wheels in this price range, and they were nowhere near built as nice as this is. I mean, all the drawers, they're dovetailed. They're not just face nailed. They're actually, these are cabinets that custom homes have. They're not just cheap press board. It's real wood, dovetail joints. Um, they just, they thought of everything. Where they put the outlets. Yes. Um, 
where they put the light switches. Just everything is done perfectly. And you know, and they they looked into technology. So every outlet has USB and USB C chargers. You know, this everybody has phones and iPads and tablets and computers and things like that. I mean, how many devices do you guys have that need a USB or USB C to charge? Issue, and you always gotta find a little block somewhere. Yeah, and that's an issue in our other yes. We we had stuff plugged in in the kitchen and on the bunks. I think I charge I think I was charging my Apple Watch yeah. on the bunk side because I didn't have enough where we were sleeping in our bedroom. Um, they also have the Starlink. There's like a hole in the pantry. Yeah. So if you wanted to run Starlink, you could that core you know, all of that is done. It's it's easy. You're not yeah, drawing you, holes in your camper to make it work. And so the, and and this camper comes with three hundred and sixty watts of solar mounted on the roof. And they Another were smart point. enough they were smart enough to think well, if you want to add more solar, so they put a cap on the roof, a waterproof cap, so that if you run more solar or you mount Starlink or anything to the roof, you don't have to drill holes and try to fish wires through. They ran a pipe from the ceiling all the way down that you can fish those wires through without having to hire somebody or, like I said, drilling through your ceiling um, and trying to fish wires through. Um, so it just They made it so, and, so, and that's that solar, that 360 watts just by itself will keep our refrigerator running if we're not hooked up to electric. You know, boondocking, um, if you're not familiar with boondocking, it's where you're camping and you don't have electric, water, or sewer hookups. Um, you know, if you're in the middle of nowhere, yeah. that solar on the roof will at least keep our refrigerator going um, and, and keep, keep our food from spoiling, which, yeah. you know, that's great. And it was, you know, it was included. Now, I'm going to upgrade to some bigger, better lithium batteries so that we can run longer and things like that, but um, we are extremely happy with this. We're looking forward to our first trip, which is... A few weeks from now. A few weeks. Uh, we're just going to do like a weekend shakedown trip, just a couple hours away, make sure everything works the way it's supposed to, because um, to be honest, we picked this up three weeks ago, pulled it home, backed <laughs> it into the driveway. Like I said, it's been raining so much. I've been traveling for work. She's been busy. We've got the puppies. puppies. Yeah. And we just haven't had a whole lot of time to get out here and load it up with all the stuff we took out of the old camper and get it ready to camp. So two or three weeks, um, we'll have this thing on the road, hopefully doing another video, letting you know how, how it went and what we, th what we think about it. Yeah, and, and a video of where we're going yes. and um, some highlights there. Where, where we're going is an extremely popular destination. Um, People from all over the country come uh, to do rock climbing, sightseeing, things like that. We're going to hike some epic trails. Um, two of the kids are going with us, uh, so we're looking forward to that. Do you want to maybe show them some of the outside yes. features as well? All right, yes. let's go. Sure. Other than the awesome keyless entry door, which, so we have a key fob. That's my truck. <laughs> we have a key fob. But then it also has a touch code. So it, we only have one key fob. So if I'm out and she needs to leave or she comes back, she can just enter the code and get in as well. Um, this handrail is also super cool. Um, it's extremely long, comes all the way out where the old ones just kind of fold it out a little bit. This one comes yeah. all the way down to the bottom step, which makes it really nice. And then when it's time to leave, we just push this up, slide this down, and it's another magnet and it's locked out of the way. So that's just something else, you know, they think of. All right, these steps, love these steps because going in and out, you track in so much dirt. And, you know, you try to sweep off the steps, but with the sides the way they are, it's hard to get everything off. These steps fold upside down. And you can either just knock everything off that way, or when you raise them up, I can't raise them up because the door's closed. But when you raise them up, you can sweep them off from underneath. So that's another awesome thing. Um, and over here, this is some of the storage. I mean, just look at this. Look at all this storage. And then over, so over here, inside, we have an indoor or an outdoor shower um, that you can hook a hose up to if you need to fill up a dog bowl or wash your feet off, give the dogs a bath, fill up water for cooking or something. 
Um, we have uh, satellite and cable TV hookup. Again, two outlets with USB and USB-C. And then right here is Bluetooth to hook your phone up because underneath the camper, there are Bluetooth speakers. So when you're outside, you can listen to music. So that's awesome. Um, and then over here on the bottom, you unscrew this little cap and that has a hole in it. So if you needed to feed an extension cord up through the bottom, or if you wanna mount a TV right here and have the cord go down to the bottom, you can. I've seen where people fill that full of ice and they keep drinks in there. And when it gets full of water, they just unscrew that and drain all the water out. Um, right here is the propane tanks. There's one on each side. Um, they are 30 pound tanks, so a lot bigger than your standard size. And then right here, more storage. This is the hydraulic pumps for the leveling system. And then over here is the solar controller, the charger, and um, the two batteries. And then um, just more storage right here in the front as well. And then over here to this side, this is the other propane tank. And then this is locked. Is locked. <laughs> so this side. So this another um, outdoor shower where you can hook this up and you know hose off whatever. Um, and so this is where you hook up your city water. So this comes with this is a 65 foot hose on a retractable reel so you just pull this out you hook it up to the pedestal at the campground and you've got water you adjust these to whether you're boondocking or you're on city water or if you're wanting to fill up your fresh water tank um, and then before i had to crawl under the camper and grab the valve and pull it to flush the black water or the gray water tanks these have electric ones. So I just push a button from here and empty the black tank or the gray tank, which is awesome. But this is probably my favorite thing about the whole camper. This is the auto level. Now, if you've had campers before, this probably isn't a big deal to you, but coming off our travel trailer, getting to the campsite, backing up, pulling forward, trying to find the most level spot to um, park where now, once I get it off the truck, I can just hit one button and the camper will level itself with these hydraulic feet. Um, that to me is absolute game changer. Motorcycle going by. Mm -hmm. More than one. <laughs> okay, this is our propane furnace and this is the on-demand hot water heater. This is, of course, the electric connection, 50 amp. Um, right here, this is where you store the hose for the black tank. And it's nice that they give you that and then um, it locks. Um, on around here. So, Try not to let y'all see the garage. <laughs> ladder, ladder to get up on top to sweep off or wash or clean um, or, you know, take care of the um, uh, solar if we want to add more or something like that but usually you know if we park under trees before we leave I'll get up and sweep the roof off especially on top of the slides so we don't bring slides in that have something on top of them um, this is another thing that a lot of a lot of campers don't have and this is just under that couch area this is just more storage and it has a light in it as well I mean, that's a huge area in a lot of campers that gets wasted. Um, not, not with them. They, they find something for everything. Um, comes with a trailer hitch that will tow 3,000 pounds. Or what I'm going to do, I've got a basket that will slide in there. And um, I will probably put my smoker in it. Um, or one day we might get some electric bikes or something and put a bike rack back here. Just... Um, so many different things on this thing that I love 
I love how the windows are frameless. I mean, you, from a distance, you can't even see the windows. Um, that's just another thing. Um, this camera or this camper came with a wireless backup camera where in our other camper, we spent about $800 on that. This one came with it for free. Um, I think, I think that is about it. Other than me going in here and um, closing and locking everything back up. So. Any questions, I comments, you, uh, please let us know in the comments. I hope you like this video. Now we are not camping experts by no <laughs> means. We've owned a camper for exactly one year before we bought this one. Um, but we wanted to we wanted to do a video just to show our subscribers since we had told them that we had gotten a new one. We just wanted to show them what we got. Plan on doing a lot of trips here in it, uh, a lot of cooking, uh, campsite cooking videos, and just seeing the country. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, I'm getting eaten by bugs, but thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and um, we'll see you on the next one.